here we'll demonstrate uh, sample size for a binomial endpoint. And we'll expand the input so we can control uh, what we want a little bit easier. Um, we're going to start with the 15% control event rate versus 10% for the experimental. And we'll set 80% uh, power, 0.025 one-sided sample size, our uh, type 1 error spending. Timing will set uh, equal with three interim analyses. And boundaries will start out with a long sheet of Connie with minus 8 and long sheet of Connie with um, minus 2 for our spending function. Now, first of all, if you look at text, you'll see fixed design sample size. This will not change uh, when the boundaries change. We'll look at the plot. These are z values. Then we'll look at the approximate treatment effect at the bound. Here you can see uh, a very large treatment effect, about 2.6 times the difference. In other words, 0.13 as, as opposed to 0.15, which would be the difference between the null, uh, difference between the response rates in the alternate hypothesis. So this is a very high bound here at the first and second, but at the third analysis, uh, the treatment difference is about the same as the uh, alternate hypothesis. And you can see under the alternate hypothesis, a slight negative trend in the first analysis, and then uh, an insufficient positive trend that stopped the trial early at the other analyses. Now, if we change these, let's say we have more aggressive spending functions, go to minus 4. Um, you can see that the upper bound gets a little bit tighter. We also would have slightly increased the sample size. And making the lower bound more aggressive, uh, particularly, um, will uh, change the, make the lower bound more aggressive and substantially increase the sample size. OK. Now we've switched the spending function back to minus 8 and minus 2, which was a sample size of 1,469. And uh, we'll look at non-inferiority sample size. So let's say we're only trying to show that the H0 difference is greater than minus 0.01. Uh, our sample size decreases from 1,372 to 957 for the fixed design sample size. I mean, it was 1,469, I, I believe. And the sample size is decreases to 1,025 for the group sequential. Now we'll look at the treatment effect uh, for non-inferiority design. Remember, before it was about 0.03 at the end. It's still about 0.03 at the end. Let's make our non-inferiority criteria more lenient. Uh, minus 0.03. And you'll see that the treatment effect at the end does not have to be quite as uh, strong uh, in this case. Now, at the beginning, because we've got a much smaller sample size, we're still having to see a good treatment effect to stop the trial early. Uh, 